You're watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with small diameter mini implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He says nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. We're talking about mini implants today with Dr. Frank Aiello. Dr. Aiello, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, for people that don't know your practice, um, I mean, who's a typical patient that comes in for these mini implants? Randy, there's two types of patients that come in. Um, the first patient is the one that doesn't have any teeth. They're wearing dentures that they can't wear. They come in with two or three sets. I had one patient come Denture, in with seven sets. Three. Yes, okay. can't, none of them fit. Some of them are mixed in. They have the old upper with the new lower, or the new lower with an old upper. It's a shame. And Randy, on those people, we either give them dentures that snap in that they can't remove, okay, or only I can remove, or teeth that are fixed permanently that nobody can remove, or just dentures that they can take in and out. Okay. And that's what we can do for those people. The other people that come in are those who were those people 10 or 15 years prior who still have some teeth but are so embarrassed to come in because their teeth are broken off, there's pus coming out of their gums. It's an awful situation. Like they feel like they're headed to dentures. Yes. That's why they go to you. Yes, okay. and that's who the second set are. Maybe there's a tooth or two or something we can do to combine their treatment and save those teeth because nobody wants to lose more teeth than they've already lost. Maybe, if it's possible, definitely we try to do that. But if it's a foregone conclusion that they're gonna be better off looking better with a full set of fixed uh, teeth that are cemented in permanently, why would you hold on to that one tooth that looks ugly and make everything else not look so good. So you believe, like we said at the top of the show, nobody should be wearing a loose fitting denture. Like, no is that one. the future in no dentistry? One. No like one. Nobody will be wearing dentures in 40 years the way we know them today? No, Randy, because it's too affordable and it's too, too easy to do. It's amazing. And we can get into that. Okay, now we, we, we should mention that I guess the way implants are normally done is you go to one place that does a surgery, another place they put the teeth on top, you do and, and another place that does the imaging, you do it all right there. Randy, it's a one-stop shop. I've studied so much on the differences between the two procedures that are done. I've had patients, Randy, that we've done a procedure that maybe the people that are watching today understand. It's called an all-on-four. Oral surgeons, dentists are doing these procedures. They're going in, they're telling you that we can put the implants in and put teeth in in one day. That's true. I can do the same thing, but it's totally different because I can do it, one, less costly, with less discomfort. I had a patient when I was getting started who was a severe gagger. Came in, wanted to change his life, wanted new teeth, wanted that smile. He told me he was going to have his hair done next, but right. we were going to do the teeth first. Well, I didn't understand or I didn't have the expertise of being able to put those teeth in, remove the teeth, and give him teeth that same day without triggering a gag reflex. I knew that there was another procedure where if we placed four or five implants in a different way, that we could get teeth in that same day with the use and the help of an oral surgeon. So we did that. While we did that on his lower teeth, I put in mini dental implants on both sides with the fixed teeth, did it all in one day. We went to this oral surgeon's office to do the upper procedure. When this patient came back, my good friend Chester, looked me in the eye and said, Dr. Aiello, why couldn't you do the upper? That was not something that I would recommend or do again. I like my smile, but I like what you did on the lower a lot better than what happened to me on the upper. So you know what I did, Randy? What? I went back, got more training, which I intended on doing, Randy, and now I'm able to solve those problems for people who do have gag reflexes, who can't have anything on the roof of their mouth. So now I can place the implants in and place a brand new set of teeth in that are uh, temporary in nature, but they look great because we have, it's a process. So after I put those implants in, we take impressions to make the final permanent teeth made, which are made out of porcelain, to be cemented in just a few weeks later. Okay. So, so they're never left without teeth? Never. Okay. Never. And you will not gag. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. But I've had people, I've had other dentists on the show that say the problem mm. with mini implants is they're too small. Mm. They don't work. Mm. What is your response mm. to that? Um, Randy, let me, there's a lot of ways I can answer that question. Number one, let me qualify this. The mini dental implant has re been researched and tested and it has FDA approval just like any other implant that's out there. As a matter of fact, all major implant companies are fabricating smaller implants because they know that's where the market is going. They are so strong that we guarantee them just as much as we guarantee traditional implants. And listen to this. The good news is that not only are they just as good, if not better, with a 95, 94% success rate, but they cost less. They're easier to put in, they're less invasive, less time to put in. Patients uh, experience less discomfort. Okay. It's just easier to do the whole way around. Why would you do it the other way? I've had patients- So you like them. I mean, you like many of them. Ah, I love them. My patients <laughs> love them. Okay. I've had patients who I've had traditional implants done on one side of their mouth and the mini dental implant done on the other side of the mouth. And you know what they say? What? They look at me with that puzzled look on their face and they say, why did you let me do the traditional implant on this side and not the mini dental implant? This was so easy. And I had to say, I just didn't know about them. I didn't know that they were out there. I didn't know how easy they were to work with until I fell into Dr. Todd Shatkin and, and his research, and I researched it well because I wanted to make a difference in my practice. I wanted to do something that I wasn't able to do the previous 40 years that I practiced. Because you made dentures before you told me on the phone oh, in the yes, old days. Yes, 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 yes. I saw my patients go from general dentistry, doing what I could to save their teeth, to eventually having to remove them and make them dentures or make them partials. When they would come in, I would send them because I didn't place the traditional implants. I would restore them. But when I would send them to the oral surgeons or other specialists to place the implants, they either couldn't afford them because they cost too much money or they didn't want to go through the surgery that was involved to place the implants. I went back and took every course that I could take about placing the mini dental implants. People. They show up with different situations, different conditions. So I found out that there were so many applications for the mini dental implant. Patients were coming in with problems that I couldn't solve before without having to make dentures or removable appliances or have to cut all their teeth down to make bridges. I was able to utilize the teeth that they had, minimize, be more conservative, and use the mini dental implant to solve their dental problems. It's phenomenal. It's a tool that, to me, is a miracle. And to my patients that I've been able to do those procedures on, they'll tell you. If you go to so, my website. So, so if those, and by the way, your website, I've been to your website. People need to Thank know, you. I'm not endorsing you. I'm just asking you the questions. Thank but your you. website has a lot of video testimonials. Yes, it does. A lot of, lot of, it's a very informative site, actually. Thank you. Thank you. We worked hard at that. I worked hard at that. And what humbled me the most was that when I first started asking my patients, when they would say thank you and hug me and cry, that, <laughs> and, and, and I'm not exaggerating, a um, uh, lot of tears in, in our office, happy tears from spouses and, and relatives alike. But I don't want to get off point to what I'm trying to say right, here. Right. And that is that when they would want to say thank you, I would ask them, would you just tell other people? And so they would do the testimonials. Not only would they, they want to do the testimonials in front of the camera, yeah, but big... they would come to my seminars. They wanted, Dr. Frank, we want to come to your seminar. We want to tell those people how good this is because everybody should know about this. The level of excitement is phenomenal. I, I... So, so, so what do they yeah. like better? What they can eat and chew or do they like the appearance of their new teeth? Randy, it's everything. It's everything. People come in. I have to tell you this story. I had a, a particular couple come in, walked in the room, and um, uh, the gentleman's spouse was sitting on the chair, and I proceeded to uh, talk to the gentleman in the chair. And when I would ask him questions, he would just point to his wife. And I realized I wasn't talking to the right person. So uh, 
I started to pay attention to the gentleman's uh, spouse, and she went on and on. She says, Dr. Frank, I'm miserable. He can't eat anything. I try to cook him all kinds of foods. He has diabetes, he's overweight, he's cranky, he can't use those dentures. He, matter of fact, he doesn't even wear them. We go to church and he looks awful. He's here because I want you to do something and I want you to do something now and I don't care what it is or what it costs. And I said, yes, ma'am, let's take a look. So after examination, when we looked at everything, um, he had enough bone to do everything. And some people think that they just have to wear dentures that maybe are attached. But with this gentleman, this was fabulous because he was a great candidate for teeth that did not have to snap in or snap out. I could actually cement in a full set of teeth, top and bottom, and eliminate the denture altogether. Okay. They were ecstatic. They couldn't believe that I could do that. Once I explained the procedure, they didn't have any trouble with how much it cost because it was a lot less than what they expected. Yeah. And we were able to go ahead with the procedure. And so we prepared everything. He was a little nervous. That was okay. We did a little oral sedation, got him nice and calm. He came in pretty happy. His wife was uh, a little anxious, but she was so looking forward to what was about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was there for a four hour appointment. At the end of that appointment, he had teeth in his mouth. He was a little groggy, but we gave him the mirror and you should have seen the grin on his face. He was numb, but he still managed to pull his lips apart, which probably he hadn't been able to do for who knows how many years. His wife was in tears. She asked me, you know what she asked me? What, what should I cook for him tonight? <laughs> okay. And you know what I told her? What? anything you want really i mean they could eat that suit anything you want and she was so concerned and i said well what's his favorite meal and she goes he loves fried chicken and um and noodles and i said make it make him the chicken make him the noodles no trouble okay but just they eat like salads or broccoli or Everything. Chewy things? Everything. Like pizza or whatever? Everything. The only thing I ask is that, yes, I say, yeah, you can eat tonight, but I want them just to take it easy in the beginning. Okay. Um, let's uh, uh, avoid the peanut brittle and the candy apples right now. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, if we're going to do steak, let's do a nice filet, nice and tender, but let's take it easy just for the first week. After the first week, we're easing into anything you want to eat things that you weren't able to eat for how many years how long was this guy miserable in his denture 30 years i made him those set of dentures 30 years ago and they saw me on tv saw my ad in the newspaper and decide let's go back and see dr frank and they showed and up in my chair team. and which I got a bit emotional too about that because I was able to do something for him that I wasn't able to do when he came to me. So 30, 30 years, years ago, ago, all you can do is make I lost answers. him. I hadn't seen him in 30 years. Why would I see him in 30 years? I couldn't do anything for him then. Why did he think I could do anything for him now until he saw my commercial? That's nice. Fabulous story. And by the way, how old can you be to get this? How old? Randy, I have patients in their 90s. Why would a 90 year old want to do this? Because they're just like you and me. They want to be able to eat. They want to be able to chew their food. Okay, they want to be able okay. to taste it. They want to be able to smile. So it doesn't matter. I mean, if you're 90, they're not more likely to fall out? No, okay. not at all. We're giving them back what they lost those previous years. And for whatever reason, they're in my chair now making the decision that, you know what? I may live a day. I may live a thousand days, I may live another 10 years, but I want a quality of life. And that's what I'm, you know what I'm finding? What's that? People that are older want to hold on to their youth and not give in to their age. I'm learning that a lot okay. with every patient that I have. I have to tell you the story of Bill and Mary. I walk in and the routine exam is, is all prepared, the x-rays are up. Mary's sitting in the chair, Bill is sitting in the, in the guest chair. How old are they? Well, I asked them, Mary's 93, 
Bill is a young 91. So Randy, uh, I asked Mary, I said, Mary, how'd you find out about us? I asked everybody how they found out about us. And she said it was an infomercial. And I'm thinking, well, I, I haven't done an infomercial. I've done, I've done some 30 second ones, but yeah. how did they find out about mini dental implants on an infomercial? Well, it happened to be my colleague who's on the other side of Pittsburgh who had the infomercial. And I said, well, my colleague is, is a great, very great dentist. He, he's been doing mini implants just as long as I have. Why don't you go see, you know, my friend, you, okay. you know? Uh, and they said, no, because that's where I live, but Bill lives closer to you, and I want Bill to have those teeth. This is the 91-year-old. 91-year-old. And I said, well, you know, that's, that's very nice of you to see a married couple want to take care of each other like that. And she said, who told you we were married? He's my boyfriend. <laughs> okay. And I said, <laughs> so now Mary's the coyote. She's 93, Bill's 91, right? Right, right, okay. And she also proceeded to say, <laughs> Dr. Frank, it's harder and getting harder and harder for me to find boyfriends. So when I find one, if I have to fix them up a little bit, that's what I'm going to do. So you gave him new teeth? New teeth. Bill came in with teeth on the lower. He had one tooth left on the upper in the back, and he had a partial denture that was hanging on that one tooth. And Mary said she didn't want to have any parts of this partial denture flipping okay. up and down and she wanted teeth she said she'd never been with a man that didn't have their own teeth and she wasn't about to start okay these people were just so lovely <laughs> and so we did that for bill we put in 10 mini dental implants and we didn't take the tooth out we didn't need to take the tooth out we just left it in there and we put in the teeth that were cemented in and they lived happily ever after god bless them so these Wonderful people, people so once they get the mini implants like yeah. on that person full arch of upper yeah. teeth that don't come out yeah how, do they just maintain them like regular teeth? Like they come in every six months, get them cleaned? Absolutely, absolutely. We, all of our patients, we uh, stress the importance of maintenance. I like to see my patients every six months. Okay. Just like any uh, other of my patients. They come in, the hygienists clean around the teeth, we irrigate around the teeth, we give them a take home water pick which really does a nice job in cleaning around their teeth, as well as natural teeth. And we also give them a rotary toothbrush, one that we use, that I've been using for 30 years, and that my family uses, that everybody in the offices uses. I want them to have everything that I have for my health, and why wouldn't I? What about people with gum disease, like bleeding gums, the loose mm. teeth? Mm. Can they do this, or are their gums too bad? Yes, they can, Randy. As a matter of fact, it'll change their health 180 degrees because we're able to go in there, once we remove the teeth and the bad teeth, the gums heal, they get better, all the bacteria is gone. Okay. And we place the implants in and the implants hold the bone. The implants keep the bone from receding ever, even more and we're able to place those beautiful restorations. When they're coming in, with those types of situations. They hate the way they look. They can't okay, eat because okay. the teeth move around. There are spaces in between their teeth. Their teeth are in positions that they were never in before because they're moving around. Once we remove that, I'm able to make the teeth look the way they originally were. I'll tell you a story. All right. I had a patient come in, same situation. She was actually a beautiful middle-aged woman. And you could see that her teeth just changed her personality. She just wouldn't smile. Uh, she was concerned about the disease and the odor. And, uh, and she was concerned about what her husband thought about her and the rest of her family. So we had a long talk. As a matter of fact, one of the longest we've ever had. We talked about everything. Because she didn't want dentures. She didn't want to look like things were false. She wanted everything okay. to look real. And I said, okay, we can do that. And then, but she was so worried about the infections. And I explained to her that once we're in there, we're able to clean the infections away. Because once we remove everything, and she was concerned about, well, when you do that, how will I leave here? You're going to leave with teeth, with teeth the color that you picked out and the way you want them to look. Okay. And we did <laughs> just that. It was good, just amazing. You, you can't count the number of times where I or my staff look at each other look at the patient and we say to each other I can't believe we just did that did we just do that 
The mini am implant is not that invasive. He had the implants in before I knew it. He talked to me about the mini dental implants, uh, which was an exciting thing for me considering I thought I was gonna have a partial put in. And at 45 at the time, I was not happy about that. Getting the mini dental implants was a life changer for me. I was afraid to smile and it brought a lot of confidence back to me. I have almost a full mouth of teeth now that I didn't have before. They're so good that my daughter didn't even know I had them done. So they look like my own teeth. I was in here for like 30 minutes and it was done. It was done, over, done. Go home and eat. And my teeth aren't falling out of my mouth. I can eat whatever I want. I don't have to worry about being embarrassed going to a restaurant and biting into a piece of steak and my, my denture coming out of my mouth. I have told my friends. I have. I said, and anyone who has dentures, which could be in my future, I said, this is a miracle. This is something that is so incredible. So this yes. is the happiest group of patients in all dentistry? I mean, people with no teeth give them new teeth? It's phenomenal. They're the happiest group. Of, I do, I've done root canals, I've done crowns, I've done bridges. I, there hasn't been one time where I've done a root canal, root canal, a one hour root canal on a patient where the patient turned around, and gave me a hug and was in tears. Oh, thank you, Dr. Frank, for doing that root canal for, but with this, for an hour. They do. It's inevitable. <laughs> they it's have phenomenal. to hug you. They have to hug you. It's a, no one walks out without a hug, and that means me. I, it's just, the emotion is just tremendous. Um, and I'm the happiest I've ever been doing dentistry. Why? Because we talked on the phone. I mean, you love this. <sighs> I told the guys here in the studio, I said, this guy's really on fire about this whole thing. <laughs> I've never been so excited about my life, let alone what I'm doing for my patients. As a doctor, who doesn't want their patients to do well and have the best outcome? And if I'm able to give them their best outcome, it's the best thing for me. Okay. It makes my life complete. And that's why when I say that if I have the opportunity to change your life, I'm, I'm a little selfish because I know it's going to change mine because it's going to make me that That's much nice. more happier. That's nice. Because I know that I changed yours. Now, we were in, a, uh, in the green room over there. Yeah. And you were saying, because you do everything under one roof. You yeah. said some people buy a print and some people buy the original or something like that. Yeah. Tell me about that. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain uh, that. Um, what happens is that when I'm making these teeth for my patients, there are a lot of reasons why they come to me. But one of the reasons is that they know that I do a lot of this work myself. Okay. Let me use this as an analogy. All right. In a lot of dental offices, and, and I'm not disparaging against anyone, because the lab technicians are phenomenal. They're very talented people. But they can't see you. They can't see your smile. They can't see how the teeth fit underneath your lip. They can't tell if the edges of the teeth are in going to enable to give you the proper embouchure to play that trombone. Okay, okay. These are the people that are coming to me because they know I'm going to pay special attention to those details. Because you do this. You yes. design it yourself. Well, you're in the chair. Okay. We move the teeth around. I adjust the teeth while you're in the chair. The difference is this. Do you want to buy the original oil painting from the artist or do you just want to buy the print? Okay. Here in my office, you're going to get the original oil. You're going to get the original. Exactly. Now, one of the questions, and we are out of time, but that I had to ask you is, what if you've been wearing a denture 20 years? Sure. Isn't it true you don't have enough bone to do this? No. Okay. Not at all. It's amazing. I have patients coming from other dental offices. Yes, they can't help you because their implant is too big for your bone, or you're not a good candidate for the surgery that they're recommending, or you don't want to have the surgery that they're recommending. Okay. And there's no guarantee that it'll work. I'm able to find enough bone to find the implant that'll fit your bone. That's what makes this technology different, and it's what is going to make the old technology the dinosaur. Okay. Because we can find that. Randy, I'm, I'm able to find 
enough bone to place that implant. And plus, we're developing newer techniques to be able, believe it or not, to create more bone to accommodate the mini implant with no discomfort, no surgery, no Very little, we no should say, discomfort. Very little. I mean, during the procedure, it doesn't Very hurt. little. Is nothing. Right? I mean, they're numbed up. Nothing. Nothing at all. Patients don't even know that they had it done. Now, now, I, now, now, now what about insurance? Because, look, mm -hmm. we get emails yeah. on wellnessart.com. Huh? They say, the problem with dental implants, mini implants, mm. or regular implants, mm. is insurance, even the best dental insurance doesn't right. cover the whole thing. Right. Medicare, Medicaid doesn't cover it. Right. So what's the answer? Right. The answer is this. Why do you go out and buy that big, expensive car? We finance. We can make it affordable. There isn't a Are plan out there. Are people financing this? Oh, my goodness gracious, yes. If you want something bad enough, we can find a payment for you. Now and you don't carry work. it. I mean, you're going through lenders. We have third party. So you have to have decent we credit. Have, we have third, yeah, we have third party. We have third party lenders, and we have more than one. We're usually, and you know what? It's just not financing the whole amount. Some people want to uh, pay more than the total amount. Use their insurance. Maybe their insurance will pay a thousand. Maybe they want to put down another amount of money okay. of, of whatever they want to do, and then finance the balance. There are ways to make it work. Different ways that we can make those arrangements. And the people that we have in our office, they're the best because they want to make sure that you get this procedures done that you want to have done. And we'll find a way. We'll just find a way. Okay, good. Now, with the mini implants, as a recap, you could do a snap-in, snap-out set of teeth. You could even use their existing denture, fit that to snap in, yeah. or give them a brand new set of teeth that don't come out. Exactly. On the upper. Well, that exactly. seems like everybody wants. Exactly. Right? Teeth that don't come out. Right. Final message. Yeah. Somebody watching this. Mm -hmm. Of the two categories you talked about, their teeth are failing. They're mm -hmm. really bad. Mm -hmm. They're headed to dentures, maybe. Mm -hmm. The second group, they're already wearing dentures. But they've heard what you had to say, but for whatever reason, they're putting it off. They're mm -hmm. afraid. What do you say to them? Just come on in. It doesn't cost you a dime. Come on in. The staff is ready for you. They're friendly. They're caring, especially very caring, because we know what you're going through. Okay. Other patients have experienced what you're experiencing now. We'll let you talk to those patients. They want to talk to you. Not just us, but the patients that we help, they want to help you. You can come to our seminars. You can see us on uh, on any uh, of our uh, website videos. So if you go to the, the website, research, they yes. can go to one of your public seminars. Absolutely. Find a location. No charge at all. And it's a great seminar. Do they it's get to see you on the consults? Absolutely. Every consult. I do myself personally. It's me. Nobody else. And all the people around me who are ready just to help you accomplish your goals. If you lost your teeth, would you get mini implants? Absolutely. Really? In a heartbeat. Okay, good. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Great it info. Was, it was a lot of fun, and, and it was a great pleasure. Good. Thank you. You've been watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.